You know, I've never wanted to get into anything political on my channel, but Donald Trump, well, he's an ass. All political opinions aside, though, there's no denying that he's made quite the spectacle of himself as of recently, and it's left a lot of Americans scratching their heads, for lack of more colorful wording. And if the internet's taught me anything, it's that if something's topical or popular, there's a pretty good chance that someone, somewhere, has made a Flash game of it. So let's look at some Donald Trump games. Yep, this is a thing that exists. So the first few games I stumbled upon were Flash games, the first of which being this one called Defend Your Trump. I had to insert my own background music because this game, for whatever reason, has classical music playing the whole time. And I don't want to get my video claimed. The idea of this game is that there's a bunch of people trying to steal Trump's money, and when they do, he's all, Goddamn kids always taking my money. It's all Mexico's fault. Yeah, I don't know why I made him sound like Nixon. Oh, and by the way, one trillion dollars? Really? I mean, I know he's absurdly rich, but a, a fucking trillion dollars? You control this giant mechanical thing that crushes the enemies. It's really just gruesome as shit, and their skulls and rib cages just kinda fly out and fall to the ground. The game's actually kinda fun, but it gets kinda tedious. It's very arcade style and controls pretty well. Anyway, naturally, once you lose all your money, it's game over. I started to get careless towards the end because the game started to get kinda boring. Oh well, on to the next one. That's actually not a question, but I'll bite. How do I beat up Donald Trump? <laughs> oh boy. This game lets you take Trump to all different places and slap him silly around the globe. Now, Flash games like this, where you have to beat up a specific person, have existed for, like, forever. What's infuriating about this one, though, is that all the options just end with Trump laughing and coaxing you. Now, you know, I don't personally harbor this kind of hate for people in my heart, but, you know, you've gotta be rubbing people the wrong way when they make a Flash game where people can virtually drown you in a fishbowl. After you've tried everything, a final option opens up that says whack him. If you click it, a giant fan comes out and fucks his hair up. I guess the gunshots and Molotov cocktails were fine, but God forbid you fuck with his hair. That's going way too far. He drops to his knees and he gives up. And then he, uh... He cries. He keeps crying. Infinitely. You can't stop it unless you exit out of the page or refresh it. In this one, you control Trump. Or Louis Anderson, I'm not quite sure which. On a journey to the White House, snatching up all the jobs before the immigrants can get to them. At the end of the description here, it gives a little disclaimer that says the fence you're walking on is built like shit and that it's unstable. Now, I assume that they were trying to play it off like it's some kind of metaphor, but really, I just think someone hastily coded the game so the collision detection is Astix. Nice try, guys. Anyway, it's a platformer that lasts all of 28 seconds as long as you don't fall through the invisible holes in the platforms. Regardless of whether you win or lose, though, it's very apparent that whoever made this game is super salty about Trump's shenanigans. We need to build a wall. It's corruption. It's massive corruption. It's massive incompetence. Now, after searching Google, these were the only four games that I could find, and I thought that I wasn't going to have enough to cover, and I almost scrapped the whole video idea entirely. But then I thought of one place that I never thought to look before. The Android market. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Apparently, there's a whole sea of mobile games. This was a mistake. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this one, but basically, Trump hobbles back and forth on stage and your job is to control a crowd full of Mexicans pelting him with random objects. Each time you hit him, he reverses direction, and if he makes it all the way off stage, you lose and have to start over. You have to hit him enough times to fill up this meter, but there's a few items that you have to avoid or else it'll deplete the meter back down to empty. Every time you hit him, his famous catchphrase pops up on the screen. Trump. Trump? To win each round, you have to completely fill up the meter, and once you do, a fucking mariachi band will swoop in and celebrate. After every level, you earn money which you can spend at the shop to buy sweet new outfits for Trump. My personal favorites were the luchador and Donald Duck costumes. And thank God, because I don't think I'll be unseeing this shit anytime soon. Unfortunately, though, it does take a while to rack up money, so all I was able to actually purchase was this chicken suit. So you're going to quickly notice that most of these games are based on the idea that Trump's really really pissed off probably just about every Mexican person ever. Like in this one, where you hop from rooftop to rooftop, collecting wigs and avoiding, uh... Well, I'm not quite sure if it's canon that Mexican people can travel via cloud, but for the sake of the shit I have to endure today, I guess I'm willing to stretch my imagination just a bit. And, of course, here we see that dream wall that Trump so graciously promised us. You know, it's really hard to explain, but this game is just so, so hard to control. You tap the screen to jump and also accelerate, but there's this, like, fixed arc to his jump. Since you really can't see what's ahead of you, it's hard to judge just how long you have to hold it down for. I couldn't really make it very far because the game kept crashing. I'm using software called Bluestacks, which 
is an Android emulator and quite often has compatibility issues. I kept having to reboot the game and eventually I just kind of got frustrated and gave up. A lot of these have similar titles, like this one called Donald Trump Jump. This one's really simple. Trump bounces back and forth between these two platforms, and when you tap the screen, you reverse direction. The object is to collect votes without getting hit by, uh, floating Trump heads, all while being watched by more floating Trump heads. These games are fucking weird, man. Like, I get that I can't take any of these seriously, but there's just... A lot of weird design choices going on. It is people making these games after all. I mean, look at these little poop emojis next to the platform. What does that mean? I know I'm reading too far into this, but I'd just like to know what the thought process was behind this. Let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever found yourself wishing that there was a game where you could drop piles of human feces on top of Donald Trump's head? Well, look no further, because I've got the game for you. I'm guessing it must have been Enchilada Night in the Mushroom Kingdom, huh? You control the pipe and make it go back and forth to aim, and press the button to drop the dumps as Trump walks back and forth. Hit him a few times and this'll happen. Tails channel said real that was horrifying. The wind velocity and direction will occasionally change and throw you off, so you need to compensate with your aim. This is typically a mechanic found in golf games. Never thought I'd see something like this applied to a game about dropping loads of shit from the sky. A nice touch, I'd say. Really creative. I'm seeing a pattern here. Real creative title, guys. This one I really wasn't even capable of playing. I guess the idea is to select which pictures are poop and which ones are Trump. Problem is, you have literally less than a second to make your selection or you lose, and since I'm not using a real Android phone, the time it takes me to drag my cursor back and forth makes the game completely unplayable. Still though, I somehow don't think I'm missing out on too much. Except for maybe these beautiful illustrations of what appears to be the outcome of Trump doing the fusion dance with a pile of shit. Oh. Oh no. Yep, you are in fact seeing this correctly. This is a Flappy Bird clone, and just like Flappy Bird, you need to tap the screen to ascend and avoid obstacles. Only this time, you're a floating Donald Trump head, avoiding other politicians on your epic quest to the White House. I just honestly cannot believe things like this actually exist. And while we're at it, here's an Angry Birds clone. This one's got me a little confused. I'm not sure what the meaning is behind the tomatoes wearing hats and clothes are, but that's your ammo that you launch at Trump's piles of cash. Just like Angry Birds, if stuff falls on top of Trump, he fucking explodes. This game actually could have been sort of fun, but it's just buggy and shit like this tends to happen. So this one's an endless runner. As I'm sure you've already gathered, you play as Donald Trump's toupee that decides to randomly make a run for it. I guess even inanimate objects seem to find this guy unbearable. There's two main obstacles you need to avoid. Trump's Mexican wall, and these hats that say number one Trump. Just to clear up any doubts one might have about who the best Trump actually is. Whatever that means. Also, this game likes to be cute about its advertising. Instead of your typical still image ads, or skippable video ads, or the ones that try to convince you to purchase the full version of the game, this one tries to pull a fast one and tells me that I've unlocked locked a new offer. Like it's a fucking reward or something. I see what you're doing. So anyway, I was gonna just stop playing this pretty quickly after I started because I was like, well, I've got a lot of games to look at and this just seems to be an endless runner. But then this terrifying shit popped into the screen and I swear to God, I almost pissed my pants. Apparently at around the 600 yard mark, this god awful thing shows up. I was recording this at about 4 a.m. and was not expecting this and it scared the ever living shit out of me. This isn't okay. This one's called Trump the Champ, and you just kind of climb whatever this is and eat coins or something. If you bump into Hillary Clinton, you lose, so you need to switch sides to avoid her, and then she explodes. I don't know, that's, that's about it. This one's supposed to be another endless runner, platformer type game, but I couldn't really control it properly because this was yet another game that you need both hands for, and to make matters worse, every once in a while shit like this would happen. There's all these power-ups and options, and I have absolutely no idea what any of them do. You collect coins, and there's ghosts and skeletons, and I don't know. This one wasn't even political or trying to make a statement. I get the feeling that this was already another game, and they just decided to put Trump's face over the player. It's actually kind of disturbing, because when you die, you like, actually fucking die. Trump foams at the mouth and shit, and just... Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this one. I'm sure you've all heard of Meme Run by now, but have you heard of Trump Run? Oh, you haven't? I'm sorry. 
This one's actually sort of almost cool. I think that if I would have played it on an actual phone, it would have been kind of fun. It's called Trumped Up, and it's a retro arcade style game where you climb to the top of a building while avoiding falling objects and security guards. And for some reason, also the SWAT team. If they catch you, you get thrown in jail and you have to pay money for bail. To avoid them, you need to punch them if they get close to you. Apparently scaling a building is super illegal, but assaulting law enforcers is totally fine. Some of the music is actually kind of cool, and the pixel art isn't too bad either. There is some awkward voice acting that just kind of sounds creepy, but for the most part, the game's actually kinda alright. If you get caught too many times, you'll run out of money and get a game over. This game definitely feels a lot less mobile and a lot more arcade. Alright, this is by far the weirdest game that I've found, period. I've tried multiple times to wrap my head around it, but I still don't get it. So a 3D model of Trump is standing there, and there's different options you can select to make him do different things. Here's just a few. I, uh, I don't get this one. There's also a voice recorder that for whatever reason records what you say and pitch shifts it. There's a record button. I wonder what it does. Hello everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. Now sure, this is all pretty weird, but this part, this part fucked with me. Someone please explain to me what exactly is going on here. Mr. Schneider. Mr. Schneid! I do not know what language this is, but there is what seems to be an infinite amount of dialogue that is spoken when this button is pressed. I don't know who it is or what they're saying, but holy shit was I creeped out. Well, we've reached the end of the road here, and unfortunately the last game I found wasn't even a game. It's essentially a soundboard, only there's just one button and when you press it, it spouts random things that have come out of Trump's mouth. And you know, I think this sums up this whole thing pretty spectacularly. Everybody takes me very seriously. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my stupid video. I know it was a pretty ridiculous concept, but somebody had to do it. Or at least that's the excuse I'm going with. If you liked what you saw, smash that like button! If you want to see some other videos I've made, there's a couple right there, including a song I wrote about a game called Undertale. And if you want to make America great again, you should probably subscribe. The American dream is dead.